Deputy President, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say first that it is not going to be possible in the short space of time available to me to touch on Sinead Cusack's wealth of performance in cinema and television. Given the thematic emphasis on the theatre today, I will be concentrating on her achievement in that area. And even at that, I'm conscious that I'm not going to have enough time, but I'll do my best. Sinead Cusack is the eldest daughter of two renowned Irish theatre actors, Cyril and Maureen Cusack. After acting at the Abbey Theatre in the 1960s as one of the brightest of a rising generation of Irish actors, she went to England in the 1970s and debuted and continued to appear with the Royal Shakespeare Company at Stratford-on-Avon. She says that initially she was intimidated by the greatness of Shakespeare. This is the whole thing of, you know, can Irish people act Shakespeare? She was intimidated by the greatness of Shakespeare, thinking she should just stand stock still and deliver the lines. But she persevered, and she learned to make the lines her own by concentrating on and exploring Shakespeare's understanding of human nature. Since then, she's played a wide range of the dominant, independent, but embattled heroines of those Shakespearean comedies, and received a Tony Award nomination in New York for her performance as Beatrice in Much Ado About Nothing. But she has gone further in her dazzling and, I think, characteristically intrepid Shakespearean journey, tackling the most substantial of the female roles in the tragedies, that of Lady Macbeth, and the one I'm most sorry I missed, Cleopatra in Antony and Cleopatra, one of her most acclaimed achievements. Most recently, she has played Paulina in that great late Shakespearean romance, The Winter's Tale, directed by Sam Mendes in the bridge project that was shared between the Brooklyn Academy of Music in New York and the Old Vic in London. Sinead Cusack has not neglected the Irish side of her theatrical lineage and indeed has kept a consistent and core strand of Irish work running through her careers. In the mid-1970s, she was the best Peggy Mike I've ever seen in a TV production of Sing's The Playboy of the Western World with John Hurt as Christy Mahon. Young, fiery, spirited and independent, she brought a fine contemporary edge to the part. And when we talked about it a few years later, she reminded me, because I was working on Sing, remember, it's Peggy's play too. Words I think I have remembered, I hope. Um, two years ago, uh, in a play that Cathy's already referred to, a production, in an important first production between the two national theatres of these islands, Sinead played one of the most iconic roles in the Irish theatrical canon, Juno in O'Casey's Juno and the Peacock. Again, she made sure that the play was not just discussed for the male double act of Captain Boyle and Joxa Daly, but for the interplay between her character and her husband, played by Kieran Hines. They, they're quite a double act. They were in The Birds, and I believe are going to appear in a, uh, a movie version of John Banville's The Sea later this year. In that production of Juno and the Peacock, we were more keenly aware than usual that this was a woman who was slaving in manual labor to put sausages in the pan for a disabled son, a striking daughter, and a shiftless, chronically work-shy and alcoholic husband. Before our eyes in Sinead Cusack's performance, this ordinary woman grew in tragic depth until she commanded the increasingly bare stage with her courage and her fortitude. Sinead Cusack has made no, a no less major and garlanded contribution to the work of contemporary writers, Irish and English and others. In 2006, which I did see, she pulled off an utterly convincing double role of a younger and older woman in Tom Stoppard's Rock and Roll, for which she received a Tony nomination for Featured Actress and a Drama Desk Award nomination for Best Actress. It is, I think, her electrifying performances in plays by Brian Friel, Frank McGuinness, Sebastian Barry and Conor McPherson that we should particularly celebrate here today. The most difficult role of her career, she says, was playing May O'Hara in Sebastian Barry's Our Lady of Sligo in 1998. The play is primarily centred, there are some other characters, but primarily centred on um, an old Irish woman lying in bed dying of cancer. 
Sounds cheery, huh? There are occasionally other characters and flashbacks, but in the main, it is a series of long, demanding, poetic monologues. The degree of her success in bringing this neglected old woman to theatrically arresting and memorable life can be measured not only in the audiences worldwide who flock to see the play, but in the pre prestigious theatre awards it garnered. An Olivier nomination and the Evening Standard Award and Critics Circle Theatre Award for Best Actress. Sinead Cusack has reminded us forcefully that Brian Friel was writing major roles for women before Dancing at Lunasa. And she did so in her, in her performances as Alice, the alcohol fueled, damaged, truth telling middle sister in Friel's most Chekhovian play, Aristocrats, and as Grace. Frank Hardy's wife in what I think is Brian Friel's greatest play, Faith Healer. I cannot imagine a better grace than Sinead Cusack. Beautiful, how can I tell you how fantastic she looked, dear Art, as Teddy, the copy manager, says, courageously bearing the loss of her child by her husband who describes her as barren. Exercising all the forensic skill of her legal training, the better to understand but not to cure her passionate attachment to the faith healer. Her recent performance at the gate in Conor McPherson's, McPherson, sorry, my teeth, Conor McPherson's stage version of The Birds brought a strong female role to the fore as the playwright moved into new and exciting territory. And there is Frank McGuinness, already mentioned by Maeve Conrick in her opening, our own bright particular star of this parish, with whom she has collaborated memorably over the years. Frank wrote the version of Chekhov's Three Sisters, in which she starred with her father and her own two sisters, Soroka and Niamh, at the gate in 1990. McGuinness has also written screen roles for her, most recently in a, a two-hander for Sky Arts, a savage tender play called Crocodile. In it, Sinead Cusack plays a white lawyer approaching an imprisoned black woman she has been hired to defend. This role was written for Sinead by Frank. The white woman says she has gone to London to study law from another country, it is implied from Ireland, to the Imperial Centre where she has listened and she has learned. So too has Sinead Cusack, as she has worked her way to the, won her way to the forefront of English language theatre worldwide. She has done so by fusing all of her formidable technique and the wide-ranging experience she has developed in that rich and ongoing career with her own personality, her own independence, and her own imagination. She has gone from Ireland to an extraordinary career worldwide, rising so magnificently to the formidable challenges of the poetic theatre of Shakespeare, Shakespeare and Chekhov in particular. But she has brought all of this home with frequent appearances on the Irish stage and with her award-winning and definitive work in the very greatest of our native playwrights. It is a pleasure to welcome her to UCD, where she's been an adjunct professor in recent years, and to celebrate her creativity, her originality, and her artistry as an actor in the awarding of this um, honorary doctorate of literature, honoris causa. Pre honorabilis, pro praesis totaque universitas, presento vobis hank meum filium, quam scio tam moribus, quam doctrina habilum et edunium essa quae adem dictator, honoris causa, ad gradum doctorata in lit literis, id, id qui tibi fidi mea testa expondia totique academiae. Ego octoritate mihi contressa, admito te, te ad gradum doctoris in literis, Honoris Causa.